kids these days don't know how good they really have it. Did you know that back when Queensland and Brisbane were first established in the mid 1800s, that there weren't any high schools? The community banded together to raise enough funds to give Brisbane its very first secondary school. You can see where the school motto, Nielsen Labore, came from, nothing without labour. That was a lot of hard work back then. As they built the school, I wonder if our forefathers realised that they were not just laying a foundation of stone, but creating a community of learners, educators, volunteers, philanthropists and leaders. The story of Brisbane's first grammar school made it all the way to England. So much so that the school's second headmaster, Reginald Heber Rowe, left straight from Oxford to set sail for Australia and stayed as BGS headmaster for 34 years. A great educationalist, he set the scene for all-rounded excellence, including service and sport. Mr Rowe also encouraged the boys to pursue opportunities outside of the classroom. It would have been pretty cool to be in the cadet team back then. Swords and bayonets? Maybe that's why our boys still dominate the fencing. It's in our DNA. Fellow Australians, it is my melancholy duty to inform you that in consequence of the persistence by Germany in her invasion of Poland, Great Britain has declared war upon her and that as a result, Australia is also at war. Look at them. The boys leaving by the hundreds, and there's no stopping them. I guess it's no surprise, they are, after all, grammar men. We share a special bond of brotherhood and friendship. I am proud to call over 3,000 war heroes my old boy brothers. Some of them sacrificed their lives so that we can all live in freedom. To the brave old boys that have gone before us, we honour you and thank you. I'm thankful to the school community who raised the funds to erect a lasting tribute to our boys so we never forget. Can you hear the noise? This place was going off. The world, Queensland, the school, everything was booming. It's the 1950s and generous community donations gave us a new gymnasium, swimming pool, and new beds. This new era of school spirit was motivation for a new uniform of light dark blue, tie and all. BGS was growing up and hitting the big time. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The moon landing saw the world get smaller and our eyes grow wider. Global change was everywhere, and the BGS community is taking the school to the next level. The Arts Centre was built to grow our music program, and we took over a little piece of the Brisbane River with the BGS rowing sheds. And then there's Centenary Hall. Like the school, it came from community support and was ahead of the times, as a place that provided teaching flexibility, lectures and school assemblies. Oh. And it was around this time that TV became a thing and Centenary Hall was the perfect place to watch it. The world was at our door and it was a great opportunity to showcase our talent to the world and the Queen. Our musicians were part of the opening ceremony that ushered in the expo that changed the face of Brisbane. It was during this time that the school embraced outdoor education, extended its playing fields, and commenced a Japanese exchange program. With our eyes on globalization and diversity, the school community established the Bursary Fund, which offered BGS opportunities for boys who would otherwise not be able to attend the school. A new century, the 2000s, where many good things were born and the school continued to grow from strength to strength. Our historical commitment to a broad liberal education and innovative approach to teaching and learning saw new developments at the Spring Hill campus. The middle school, indoor sports centre and the magnificent Lilly Centre, built to epitomise our innovative spirit and cultivate all-rounded excellence. 
It's a challenge trying to tell the story of the BGS 150 journey in just a couple of minutes, as there are so many achievements to choose from. I can tell you though, it's a story rich with history, courage, duty, generosity, and community. It's a history of brotherhood and friendship that extends beyond the gates of our great school and into the lives around us. I am proud to wear the light dark blue. I'm grateful to be a grammar man. Most of all, our story is one of community. It is your commitment to your endeavors, the leadership in your fields of profession, your love of learning and respect, which makes Brisbane Grammar School great. We are each a part of a special history and a future that is steaming ahead to even greater things. On behalf of all Brisbane Grammar School boys, thank you.